In this tutorial, we'll learn how to convert a 2D image or picture like this into a 3D object in Blender, and we'll also create an animation for this leaf using Blender's cloth physics. So let's start with the default scene, and first we'll delete this cube since we don't need it. Now in the Add menu, go to Image and select Mesh Plane. Then select the image that you want to convert to 3D and add it here. We can turn on the Material View mode, and let's also enable the scene lights. So we can now see the image, and since the position of the image is not what we need, we can go to the object properties and remove these rotations so that the leaf remains in a horizontal position. Now press 7 on the number pad to go to the top view mode. We need to remove these white sections so that we have only the leaf part and this leaf object gets a perfect mesh data. We need to do it in the edit mode, so let's switch over to the edit mode. While everything is selected, right click here and select the subdivide option. Then in this operator box, let's increase the number of cuts to maybe 32. Now deselect everything and pick up the knife tool. We need to identify a vertex point which is exactly on the leaf border, like this one, we have to click here. Now press the control key and add some more points for the cut operation along the leaf border. When you keep the control key pressed, it disables the snap feature and you can select a cut point anywhere you want. It does not snap to the nearest vertex point. Finally, to close the loop, release the control key, so that we can again click on our very first point. Then press the enter key and we'll get a beautiful cut along the border of the leaf. Now go back to the selection tool and also enable the edge selection mode. Here we can see that there is a problem in this bottom section, which is the petiole or the stem part. So press the control key and deselect these internal edges, we need to only have the outside border selected, nothing inside. And another thing is, it has to be a closed loop without any gap or missing edges, but somehow we see that there is a gap here, so let's select these two edges, so that we get a closed loop in our border selection. Then go to the select menu, and under select loops, select inner region. So all vertices within our model will get selected, now switch back to the vertex selection mode, and then from the select menu, select invert. It will select all the vertices outside our model, so we have to press the X key, to bring this menu, and then select vertices. Now we get our leaf model ready with a perfect shape, so we can go back to the object mode. You'll notice that some white parts are still left on the border, because the border selection was not very perfect, and to avoid this issue, simply open the source image in a photo editing software. We have to remove this white part around the leaf, which we don't need, so make a selection of the white part, like this, and just remove it, and then save this image in a transparent format. If we then use this image as a texture for our model, we'll get a perfect leaf without any defect or discrepancies. So this is how we can convert a flat image into a 3D object, let's now turn on the rendered view mode. We can see that the leaf surface is reflecting the sunlight quite a lot, so let's go to the shader editor. In this principled BSDF, we'll change the specular value to say 0.25, or whatever suitable. Then in the world node setup, we can see that an HDRI texture is used here, which is connected to these two background nodes, and please note the difference in the strength values for these two nodes. It will give us a dim background for our scene, and a bright light for the leaf object. Now we'll learn how to correctly add a cloth physics for the leaf, in order to get it animated, so go to the physics tab and enable cloth physics from here. Then we'll select one of the cloth presets, called silk, which is our closest match, but we need to make few changes, like these values can be too and the value of the stiffness bending can be 0.1. Now minimize this, and let's expand the collision section, here we need to enable the option called self-collision. Then under the cache section, we can bake the physics from here. Once complete, let's go to the top view mode, and run the animation. We'll discover that the leaf is getting crippled like a piece of paper, and the reason is this cloth physics. Blender uses a noise pattern for cloth physics, that fails to work reasonably if the object size is relatively small. The fix is also simple, first enlarge the leaf by a factor of say 10. It will make the leaf quite large in size, now go to the modifiers tab, and right after this cloth modifier, we'll add a geometry nodes modifier. Then click on the new button, and we can construct this geometry node, in the geometry node editor. Here, we need to connect a transform geometry node, between the input and the output, and we'll set the scale factors to 0.1, to get back the original size. Now back to our viewport, the leaf looks perfect, but we need to again bake the physics. So in the physics tab, 
We'll first delete the existing baked data, and then start the baking. Once this is complete, if we run the animation, we'll see a better outcome, but we need to rectify the appearance of the leaf surface, so select the leaf object, then go to the modifiers tab, and after the geometry node, we'll either add a smooth modifier or a subdivision surface. The Catmull Clark option should be selected with a level of say 2, and we can also enable the shade smooth option from here. Now the leaf will deform very realistically if we run the animation once more. So go to the first frame, and we can switch over to the camera view mode. Then in the render properties, let's also turn on the ray tracing option for a better light and shadow for our scene. We have set up the camera to track the leaf object as it falls down. If you are a member of this channel, you can download this blend file. And you can also use a solidify modifier to add some thickness to this leaf. So I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.